Beza Global. A serial killer is a person who murders three or more people, usually doing so for malicious, psychological gratification, thrill seeking, attention, or financial gain. The FBI defines a serial killer as a person who commits multiple murders, as separate events, and usually done by one person acting alone. Serial killings are often attempted similarly, and victims often have something in common, such as similar demographic profiles. John Wayne Gacy, for example, confessed to police to killing over two dozen boys and young men, and burying their bodies under his suburban, Chicago home. He targeted boys, whose families shunned them, often because they were homosexual. The majority of serial killers are not reclusive, social misfits who live alone, like how many television shows and movies portray them. Many don't look or seem like monsters, and may not come off as strange. Most serial killers hide in plain sight within their communities. You could live right next to one, right now and never know. Serial murderers often have families and homes, are gainfully employed and appear to be normal members of the community. Because many serial murderers can blend in so effortlessly, they are oftentimes overlooked by law enforcement and the public. For example, Robert Yates, killed 17 prostitutes in the Spokane, Washington area, during the 1990s. He was married with five children, lived in a middle-class neighborhood, and was a decorated U.S. Army National Guard helicopter pilot. Serial killers often have some common characteristics among them, such as varying degrees of mental illness, a history of abuse by a family member, may have a fascination with setting fires, or are involved in sadistic activities, such as torturing pets, and wild animals. The United States has more serial killers than any other country. According to WorldPopulationReview.com, Alaska, has the highest rate of serial killings, at 7.01 per 100,000 people which, proportional to its population, is extremely disturbing. Here are five reasons why Alaska, has the highest rate of serial killings. Number 1. Alaska has very unique weather compared to most other parts of the planet because it is far north. The town of Tkiavik, Alaska, experiences a polar night every year, beginning in mid-November and ending in mid-January. That means that once the sun sets in November, residents won't see daylight for two months. Residents are plunged into a long, but temporary cold darkness, which according to some health experts contributes to the increased suicide rates and depression the state experiences. Extended winter nights in Alaska, for much of the year, can have a profound negative psychological impact on many people, driving some mad, and others into irrational states of mind. Number 2. Because Alaska has long periods of darkness, the state provides the perfect opportunity to target a victim without being seen, and or caught. Killing someone in the dark is obviously better for someone who wants to minimize the risk of being seen, by both a potential target and a bystander or witness. Number 3. The sheer size and isolation of the Alaskan wilderness may be a very appealing factor for serial killers. The remote seclusion provides opportunities to prey on potential victims and provides many sequestered locations to dispose of evidence. There are probably dozens of human remains, scattered under the snow in the Alaskan wilderness that will never be unearthed. Number 4. Many serial killers target sex workers. The logging, construction, and oil industries that drive Alaska's economy results in a high number of male seasonal workers which naturally attracts a high number of female sex workers in the state. According to a study by Ken Ekine, of Indiana University, 22% of confirmed U.S. serial murder victims between 1970 and 2009 were known prostitutes. One reason a serial killer might target prostitutes is that the police, allegedly, won't look as hard for a missing sex worker as they will for a more respectable victim. Prostitutes are a vulnerable, unprotected group of people that most often live in poverty. They make easy targets for killers. Number 5. There is lots of evidence online to show that Alaska has a serious problem with police corruption. According to ProPublica.org, dozens of convicted criminals have been hired as cops in Alaskan communities. Often, they are the only applicants. 
With low pay and few people wanting the jobs, it is easy in some small Alaskan communities for a convicted felon, even someone who has admitted to a sex crime or who was recently released from prison, to be hired with public money to work as a city police officer. It may be the case that some cops are actual serial killers in Alaska, which would give them more power and protection against victims. A Washington Post study claims that at least 75 Native American Alaskan villages have no law enforcement at all. Join our cult of tinfoil hat wearers. Subscribe to our YouTube channel.